So next I want to talk about the EG33 iris valve. So there's been some discussion that I've seen about uh, whether to use it in a boosted application or not. Um, and to me it would not make sense at all to use an iris valve in a boosted application. Um, it's basically for the airflow at that very specific RPM that the ECU and the engine were tuned for from the factory. Um, and with forced induction that um, basically that scenario at that RPM uh, will not exist anymore. So uh, what I've chosen to do is modify my iris valve so that way I can have the most flow all the time and then I'll tune my engine um, for that basically. So to show you what I've done here is the basically here is a factory iris valve. Um, it's got an actuator much like a wastegate and um, you know it's got vacuum actuation so it will just open and close this valve uh, normally it's closed and then under high load at a given RPM it will open up and then you'll get a little bit better airflow um, across the intake so basically it goes right in there and it's normally blocking off this area between um, both intake runners and then eventually it opens up and you can notice a difference um, when that happens. It's a little like VTEC but um, not as abrupt. Um, in the S2000 I drove the you know VTEC was like BAM all of a sudden you felt it pull at that given uh, RPM when it kicked in. Uh, this is you hear the engine get a little louder you feel it pull a little bit more it's just not as distinct I would say. You have to listen for it a little bit more than VTEC. But uh, it was actually really cool. I like it. It's a, one of the awesome features of the EG33 and I, I would say you know a little bit forward thinking uh, in the design of the engine. Anyway, what I have now from my other engine is essentially that same piece that I've modified. So what I did is I took my hacksaw and cut this part off right here and just disassembled the wastegate, or wastegate, the uh, iris valve actuator there and have taken it all apart. And so what that left me with was a hole in the middle here and I looked at uh, threading it and putting a bolt in but eventually I settled on um, putting this uh, basically freeze plug in there. So I just basically drilled it out a little farther and then got the exact size freeze plug I drilled out and then just with the hammer here I gently tapped it in there and it is solid so that is going to go in place of the old iris valve it's kinda of sad to see the iris valve go and you know it's a it's a distinct feature of the SVX but it's not gonna help me out in a boosted application since you know there's not that distinct um, condition in the intake anymore where it makes sense. And I mean, I think that it could possibly be used if you tuned it specifically and had control over when it opened and closed. Sure, you could probably use it in a boosted application. What would it gain you? Maybe before you're on boost, uh, a little bit more torque down low, you know, depending on how big your turbo is, how fast it spools up, all that jazz. Um, you know, it's, it's just one more thing that is complicated and I'm going to make it very simple by removing it. So, I'm sure other people will have other thoughts, but that's my logic and, you know, hopefully that makes sense to you.